Okay, it's Barnaby outside Old Trafford for Spurred on. We just lost 1-0 in a tight one on the opening day. I've got Louis and his dad here. What's your dad, name again, Dad? Jonathan. Louis and Jonathan. I'm going to go to you, Louis, because you clearly know more. Louis, what did you make of the game overall? I thought it was um, okay, but I thought Spurs should have um, should attacked more. And, and, um, and I thought that um, Manchester... Manchester, um, also, but were not that great either. Even though that they did win, and that uh, and that the referee was quite biased. Totally agree. He said the referee was biased. I think the referee had an absolute stinker. I'd swear right now, but Louis here, so I'm not going to. Yeah, don't swear, don't I'm not swear. going to. Don't worry. I'm sure you do that enough at home. Exactly. Tell me what you thought of the referee today, because I thought he was a complete homer. He was giving everything to them. I wasn't very impressed, but to be honest with you. you when you're away from the pitch, you can't actually see from where we're sta sitting. I couldn't disagree more. I saw everything and he was completely wrong. Yeah. No, I mean, look, I thought that Spurs played very well the first 20 minutes. The last 10 minutes they played very well. That time in between, not great at all. I didn't think Man United were sh shone either. thought they were pretty shocking. But at the end of the day, it wasn't a massive defeat. I would have liked it. I thought a draw would have been a fair result. I didn't think Spurs took their chances all the time. I think Chadley could have done better on the ball. I thought that a lot of the passing was overweighted. They were losing balls, making silly, sloppy mistakes on passing. And that's the reason I think at the end of the day they lost, lost the game. OK, but we're going to aim for some positives. Uh, we're going to aim for some positives. I think the reality is it got such a young team that when you concede a goal, when you've been on top for 25 minutes, it's hardest to bounce, bounce yourself back because also there are no lead, not, not really many leaders in the midfield or anything. So, Louis, one more thing. We're going to go for some positive at the end. Where are Spurs going to finish? And is Harry Kane going to be top scorer in the league? Well, I think that uh, Harry Kane has got a possibility to be the top scorer, but uh, Spurs will probably finish about seven or six like last season. And, yeah. OK, so sixth or seventh like last season, Louis... I hope, I hope that we're going to prove you wrong. I'm going to go for a top four position. I think that Harry Kane will do well this season. I think he, need, he desperately needs to get the service. I think without service, he's like any other striker, useless. He needs the service. Once he gets that, he'll put them away. Good man, couldn't agree more. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Thanks, guys. Have a safe trip. Bye. Hi, guys. Barnaby for Spurred on. Just come out of Old Trafford. This is my post-match review. Ah, it feels...